Well, it sounds like people are getting prepared to cut back on things. I'm joined now by business commentator Bernard Hickey. Good morning. Good morning. Tell me, what does the term bill shop mean? Well, it's when you go on holiday to Australia and you leave your phone on and you get yeah. back and you get this big bill from Vodafone or, or Telecom that says uh, you owe $8,000 or whatever. You're speaking my language. Yes, and you get that shock. You think, oh, I'm going to turn off my phone. I'm not going to use it anymore. In fact, I'm going to cancel the phone. And this is something that telecommunications companies are very wary of. But I think in New Zealand Inc., the New Zealand economy, has received something a bit similar in the last six months or so, a bill shock. We've all gone, I'm not going to uh, buy that anymore. Particularly when you look at um, the GST increase, which I think was the start of it, but also we're seeing it with uh, the price of milk and bread and cheese and, and, and meat yep. go up, and coffee. And for me, that sense of bill shock hit when I, I had to pay an extra 50 cents for my cup of coffee. And when the price of petrol meant that my tank of petrol went over $100. And I think that's what's really hit the New Zealand economy in the last six months. I've had bill shock before but not cancelled my phone account. Do you think that New Zealanders are checking out of paying for things? Do you think that we've responded in a really um, sort of reactory, reactionary way? Yes, I think it's different this time. I think people are surprised by how the GST increase has actually caused people to completely reevaluate their spending. And I think the global financial crisis too has changed the way that we think about spending and saving. When you look at it, over the last two and a half years, New Zealanders have saved an extra $20 billion and many of us have also repaid debt. Which is a good thing. Yes, it is. But it means that those retailers and others who are expecting people to get back on the credit card and start spending again when things were looking better are not seeing that. And the government's a bit surprised too that the tax cuts last year uh, and the GST increases had such a... Uh, kick in the gut, if you like, for the economy. And I think Bill Which means they just weren't effective. They didn't get people spending again, is that what you're saying? That's right. And people, many people who were tight to start with, when they saw that big jump up in prices, combination of GST increase uh, and commodity price increases, they suddenly decided, huh, I'm just not going to spend anymore. There's no end in sight, though, at the moment, of prices going up. That's just in the news every day. So what can people do? Well, that's, that's the tough thing. What do you do? Uh, the... the the way that people are reacting now is to save more. And actually, for New Zealand, uh, that's the, the solution. We simply have too much debt, and it's been pushed, too, on the government. Just in the last day or so, it's become clear the government have decided to try not to borrow much more to deal with the Christchurch earthquake, and they're going to try and tough it out and cut spending. So not only are consumers looking to cut the spending, but the government as well. And that's going to make it difficult for retailers and all sorts of people to come out of this a recession in any sort of quick way. It's a long grind, unfortunately. And so we're saying, though, that for consumers, for people on the ground, there's nothing much they can do except simply cut spending. Yes, and, and this is the signal uh, that we're receiving from prices and from the government and from the markets, that when you've, when you've taken on too much debt mm -hmm. and prices go up, what do you do? Well, you stop consuming and you save more. So is this OK? Is this just a natural part of the market cycle? We just have to be here in this time of, you know, saving and scrimping and scraping? It is OK, but it's not natural from the point of view of those who've seen the last decade or so. When New Zealanders essentially have lived beyond their means, and when you look at um, New Zealanders' ability to uh, produce and and uh, essentially pay for ourselves, that ability has been eroded over the last 10 years. And we've kitted ourselves by taking on more debt and by getting the government but to... But you don't sound like you're against us saving. No, and, I, think it's, I think it's fantastic. And I think this is New Zealand working out that it needs to live within its means. And that's what it's doing. But it's a surprise for a lot of people in government and in business because they expected us to come out of this recession a lot quicker than we have. But this is what happens when you have too much debt. Bernard Hackey, financial commentator, thank you for joining us this morning.